I'm Betty Alkazian and welcome to Balanced Parenting. Today we're going to talk about setting limits in our relationships with our parents and our in-laws. Bringing a new baby home changes the dynamics of extended families in many ways. Your parents and in-laws are now grandparents. For some, it may be their first time. Everyone comes into this new relationship with a preconceived idea of what it will look like. Unfortunately, we don't often talk to our parents and compare how the pictures in our heads look. We might fantasize about our parents getting down on the floor and playing with our kids for hours or taking our kids for overnights and weekends as often as possible. Our parents may not see themselves as playing on the floor type grandparents, and they may be frightened or overwhelmed about the prospect of having kids for an extended period of time. Perhaps the pictures in their heads look very different indeed. As a result, our relationships may suffer because of differing expectations, profound disappointment, and even inappropriate boundaries. Just because there's a new baby in the house doesn't mean your mother-in-law is welcome to walk into the house unannounced. The key to keeping your relationships happy and healthy is to, one, communicate, set forth your hopes, and be okay when your expectations are not met. Keep the conversation going as often as possible and be respectful at all times. Two, allow grandparents to break your rules as long as it's not dangerous. The treat of being with grandma and grandpa are the privileges you don't get to have with mom and dad. Let the rules slide sometimes and let them have their fun. Three, be respectful of your spouse. I find that a lot of people are very hard on their in-laws often expecting more or being more critical of them than they would be of their own parents. Keep in mind that you preserving a healthy and kind relationship with your in-laws is done out of love and respect for your partner. You don't want to create a situation of resentment in your own marriage by creating barriers. Remember that your kids benefit from extended family relationships, and unless a relationship is dangerous or destructive, Allow space for any loving family member to engage with your kids. I'm Betty Alkazian. I'll see you next time on Balanced Parenting.